Gentlemen, sweaters can be an incredibly stylish way to keep warm during the cold winter months. The only problem? Most sweaters are cut way too baggy, which makes you look sloppy and unkempt. And if you're a shorter guy, it can be very difficult to find a sweater that isn't way too long. The subject of today's video, how to get your sweater to fit perfectly, all from the comfort of your own home. To get started, you're gonna need these tools. A sewing machine, sewing pins, safety pins, fabric, pencil, or chalk, a ruler, scissors, and iron. So we're gonna begin this video by slimming the waist and the sleeves first. This is oftentimes the biggest problem for most guys. To start, we need to measure the sweater to figure out how much it needs to be brought in. The easiest way to do this is to take an existing sweater that fits perfectly, using it as a guide to mark the inside of the new sweater with a fabric pencil. If you don't have a perfect fitting sweater on hand as a reference, you can still get the perfect measurements without it. To do this, turn the sweater inside out and put it on. Pinch the inside of the waist until it fits as closely as you would like. Then use safety pins to secure it. Make sure it's even on both sides. And FYI, most sweaters, especially on thin or fit body types, are going to look better when they fit closer to the body. However, it should never feel tight or constricting. Now we're gonna to wanna to repeat this process on the sleeves if they're too baggy, and we're gonna do this by pinching the fabric on the inner seam and securing it with safety pins. Now lay the sweater down on a flat surface. Use the fabric pencil to mark a line from the bottom hem of the sweater all the way to the end of the sleeves, following the safety pins. Remove the safety pins and replace them with sewing pins, making sure the sharp ends will be facing away from you when you sit down to sew. This makes them much easier to remove later. Now it's time to start sewing. Now you wanna choose thread that closely matches the color of your sweater. This way it'll easily blend into the fabric. Now sweaters are made from a stretchy knit material, so you will need to use a zigzag stitch that will flex with the fabric instead of a traditional straight stitch, which is rigid. Personally, I recommend a stitch length of 2.5 millimeters and a stitch width of three millimeters. Install the walking foot attachment if your sewing machine has it, as it, this will help feed the stretchy knit fabric through evenly instead of creating a wavy seam. It's also a good idea to switch out your universal sewing needle with a ballpoint needle. The ballpoint needle is gentle on knits and won't cause damage to the more delicate fabric. Now put down your first couple of stitches and then make a back stitch. This will lock in the thread and prevent your stitch from coming undone. Stitch down the line you drew with your fabric pencil, removing the sewing pins as you go. Once you reach the end, add a couple more back stitches to finish. Now take your scissors and cut off the extra fabric, leaving a quarter inch for seam allowance. So a zigzag or overlock stitch along the edge to prevent fraying. Now let's talk about adjusting sweater length. Now if your sweater's too long, yes, it can be fixed. Now it's important to note that most sweaters have ribbing at the bottom. So because of this, you can't shorten them in the same way you would shorten a t-shirt. The secret is to shorten the sweater above the ribbed section. Well, this then leads us to the question, what's the correct length for a sweater? The answer, and this depends on your height, is you want the sweater to end right about the bottom of the belt line, going down about one to two inches, two inches if you're a bit taller, one inch if you're over on the shorter side. FYI, if your sweater is covering your crotch, it is way too long. So to get started, put on the sweater and measure how much you need to shorten it by. Turn the sweater inside out and lay it on a flat surface. Now in this case, we're gonna shorten this sweater by three inches. So we'll mark one and a half inches above the ribbed hem going all the way around the sweater. Now we fold the fabric in half along the line we just marked, pinning it in place around the entire sweater. And now, time to sew. So we're gonna sew right along the top edge of the ribbing, using the same zigzag stitch as before. Now you wanna make sure your sewing needle is hitting as close to the top of the ribbing as possible. This will ensure the new seam is well hidden. As always, after your first couple stitches, do a back stitch to lock in the thread and then sew all the way around the sweater, removing pins as you go. Finish off with another back stitch once you reach the end. After you're done sewing and making sure it is the right length, you wanna cut off the extra fabric, leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And again, use a zigzag or an overlock stitch to prevent the edge from fraying. 
Now take an iron and press the seam allowance flat. Check to see what material your sweater's made from before you press it. A hot iron works great for cotton sweaters, but if it's a cashmere sweater, you wanna be ultra careful and use a lower setting. And let's say your sleeves are way too long, about two to three inches, you can actually repeat this same process to shorten them. And with that, gentlemen, boom, you're done. You've got a perfectly fitted sweater. And I know you've got an opinion, so let me know what you thought of this tutorial down in the comments. So what video to watch next? Well, check out this video right here where I teach you how to tailor a t-shirt.